Hey, honey, I just wanted to tell you that I know you're nervous about this new school, but you'll do fine. I know it's a private school, but you're here because you're a gifted student, and you can handle it. I know that everything is different now that Dad is gone, but you're being given an amazing opportunity, and I'm working every day to pay rent and barely getting by. The biggest way that you can help is just to make this school thing work out with no problems. Things might just turn out okay. Call me after school and let me know how it was. I love you. Have a good day. Uh, hi. I'm Miles. I'm a new student here. Uh, do you know where Mr. Leroy's room is? Welcome to the Madison Academy for Gifted Learners. You're not in uniform. That's strike one. Uh, okay. We don't use pencil here. Okay. Uh, what were you saying about a strike? Mr. Leroy's room is going to be upstairs to the left, left again, then to the right. Room two, three, four. Thanks. Okay. Okay, yes. So that's already one strike. Got it. You'll be in my room in exactly 3.6 seconds. Copy that. Hello, Michael. Rumor has it you already have a strike for not being in uniform. Uh, yeah. I haven't gotten the chance to get one yet. And it's actually Miles, by the way. Mm -hmm. Well, please, take out a piece of paper and a black pen, Michael. But I only have pencils. Well, here at the Madison Academy for Gifted Learners, we only use black ink. I will not accept work done in a number two pencil. That's strike two. Do you at least have your syllabus signed by a parent or guardian? It's my first day here, sir. I haven't gotten one yet. Well, I have unfortunate news, Michael. That is strike three. Bruce will be here in 13.7 seconds to protect me and my students. From there, he will escort you to the office where you will speak to the counselor. And I hope you think about what you've done. Students, this is Bruce, the school security guard. Everyone say hi. Hi, Bruce. Bruce? Yo, are you that new Michael kid? <laughs> Look at your uniform, yo. Where'd you get it? The pencil store? You probably left your syllabus at the syllabus store too, right? <sighs> Ridiculous. Man, give me your backpack. <laughs> Couldn't even find us. Aw, oh, come on, man. Those are my pencils. Tough luck, pencil boy. It's Miles, right? I'm Ron, your guidance counselor. I heard you've been having a rough first day here. Look, Miles, this school is weird. Like, really, really weird. No one acts like a normal human being here. They just, they're just slaves to the grand rule book of rules that must never be broken under any circumstance. What? What, what is that? Oh, you don't know. A long, long time ago, there was a man named Eugene Madison. He had a, he had a dream of a stronger generation than his. He wanted to leave a mark, his mark. And so he created the Eugene Madison School for Gifted Learners. Everyone's required to have that in their office. Anyways, to Eugene, it was the perfect concept in his eyes. All he needed was a malleable staff and students for his first year. 
but when he tried to work with the group, he found that there was a lack of control. And so he created the grand rule book of rules that must never be broken under any circumstance. I haven't read it yet, and I don't plan on it. I just told my boss I did, and that I agree with every ridiculous rule in it. But honestly, I, I don't really have a choice but to conform. Nowadays, uh, Eugene's grandson, Robert Madison, runs the school and stops by every now and then. Well, that's insane. Do, do they expect me to read this? Well... Mr. Daniels, Robert Madison is a... Uh, well, he's here, Ron, like right now. He wants you to leave your office immediately so he can talk to a new student. I'm sorry, Miles. I, I wish I could have helped. What? <laughs> So, Pencil Boy, seems like you have quite the disrespect for my school, but I know how to fix that. You are going to read this book, and then we are going to read this contract to ensure you comply, especially after what you did to my school. This pen is out of ink. Wait, what are you doing? Stop that! Stop that! No, pencil man. Get back here! I'll be right back. You don't think I made copies, Pencil Man? I'll show those to everyone. No. Please. Michael. It's Ma Miles. Miles. Anything you want. I want there to be no more uniforms. I want to be able to use my number two pencils. I want full credit on my syllabus when I turn it in tomorrow. I want that entire book destroyed. I want everyone to be free of the brainwashing. And most importantly, I want you to resign. And I already know who's going to take your place. Fine. Who did you have in mind for the job? Please leave a message after the tone. Hey mom, I was just calling to let you know I, I had a really great day and I think it's gonna work out. Yeah, I had a really great conversation with the head of the academy. I know you were worried, but I think this is gonna be a great year. Anyway, I'll talk to you about it tonight. I love you, see you soon.